Hey folks, it's uh, Brian and Kayla from Tactical Response. I got this uh, new Galco Miami Classic 2 shoulder holster. And uh, so Kayla doesn't know anything about shoulder holsters. So I'm gonna no. take this opportunity to uh, get this thing fitted uh, to me. And uh, Kayla's gonna be along to help out. Yeah, I'm here to ask the questions uh, that somebody who knows nothing about shoulder holsters just so happens to be me <laughs> may ask so uh figured it was a good fit to where i could ask questions about the fit of the shoulder holster wow. Wow. <laughs> mom jokes okay so let's start out we've got all the parts so tell talk to me okay what are they so when your shoulder holster arrives um you got the harness Quick question, does it come, does it arrive in all the separate pieces or do you have to take it apart? Oh yeah, no, it's in pieces. Okay. The the pieces you see here, um, have your harness, the big straps go over your shoulders. The thinner straps go up underneath your arms. Uh, the back plate goes uh, in the middle of your back and it swivels so it can move with you. You have a holster, obviously, because that's why we got this whole rig going. And you'll get a uh, magazine carrier or a, a speed loader carrier if you get a revolver. And these uh, fasteners are what holds the straps in place. Okay, so what is step one? Step one, we're gonna take the harness and it needs to be inserted into your components. So we'll take the bottom and thread that through. The outside, outside clip right here. So it'll go through this outside clip and then through the slot on the bottom. And we're gonna adjust further from there. So we can do the same. We can do the same with the rest of the components. Take the front strap through this slot. through the horizontal bottom slot. And, and same thing on the other side with the mag pouch, right? With, yep, with our magazine carrier. Hey, maybe I do know a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Consistency. Okay. So it goes through that, um, through that horizontal slot and then this second slot, front and back. So outside slot and center slot. Before you flip it over, I have a question. Absolutely. What's that hole for? Okay, uh, so this hole is designed um, there's so optional, oh, okay, this one, yeah. there's optional accessories that uh, you can get for these. And so it basically attaches this uh, magazine case to your belt. Okay. For extra durability, durability, <laughs> stability. Okay. So step two. Okay, so step two is uh, we're gonna put this thing on and get it adjusted. Okay, so turn around, let's see the back. So where should this piece fit? In between your shoulder blades? Yes, it should be centered in your back. 
So this is this is center. So you want it centered across the line of your shoulders. Yeah, just in the middle, in okay. the middle, somewhere. Uh, okay, and so this this is starting to look okay, uh, but it's it's really important that I get the components uh, pretty much as high as you can get it up underneath your armpit. Um, where you can still uh, move around with it and uh, draw it safely. So I'm going to tighten these straps up a little bit uh, because I think I can get this fit a little better. Can you do that while wearing it or do you have to take it off to do that? Oh, no, you can you can adjust it while wearing it. So um, usability is uh, one thing where we need to be able to grab a hold of it uh, and comfort will be another, uh, followed lastly by concealment. So I end up um, adjusting the straps in the back further, because uh, this holster is for a Glock 19, and I would like that butt to be a little further back underneath my armpit uh, to reduce the swinging and uh, printing. So you could probably help me out here, Kayla, if you could mm -hmm. pull uh, pull that strap. This bottom strap? Yep, just tighten that up a little bit okay. for me. Okay. Okay. Or do I need to go a little bit more? Oh, no. I like this. Okay. I like this better already. So now to you... make the other side match. Yep. Just, right? Just... So let's turn all the way around. Mm -hmm. We're going to make the other side match. So can I count holes? One, two, three, yeah. four. Yeah. One, two, three. So this one should be in the thing. That gives me a place to go. There we go. Is that good? Okay. And that feels pretty good. Are so, we doing anything with the top straps? Well. Or are they, did we just magically get those right? <laughs> uh, I think I just kind of guesstimated those right. Okay. So, uh, Pretty much now, I'm just going to take the thing off and make sure that uh, I got the holes in the strap lined up. Okay. Uh, help me out, Kayla. Yep. So when you say lined up, you mean to be able to use those duders, dubers, whatever they're called. Fasteners. Fasteners, um, to be able to stick it through and that's gonna hold it there, right? Mm-hmm, okay. because the, uh, there's holes punched all the way through mm -hmm. this strap. So when you bring it around the other side, you'll have a hole underneath and a hole on top. Okay. So, before before I go sticking the fasteners in, there's another slot on the underneath side that I haven't brought these straps through yet. So now that we have it adjusted size-wise, I'm gonna bring those straps through on all of the straps, through all of the slots. Kind of like a rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. Now, where are you using the fasteners to secure it? Is it going to be the first hole after the buckle or the last hole? Uh, closest to the back plate. Okay, I like... Um, does that matter? I don't reckon it does, but uh, I like... I'll put it further up, closer to the back plate, um, so that I, I don't have so much tail flopping around. Okay. The, because you'll have... I'll flip this over. Um, like, this is pretty much just unsecured. And it's okay. It's going to rest. Next question... If you know that you're the one that's going to be wearing this holster, 
why not just cut the, the tip of it off? Oh, you could. Okay. Uh, I just, you know, it's a, uh, <laughs> they're not inexpensive and you just want to make sure that you get it right. And I know that, like, I'm not talking about all of it, but like, if you're already this far out, okay, like, you, oh yeah, no, there, there's no reason you can't cut it. Okay. Um, but or it, maybe duct tape it like we do on chest rigs, like roll it up and duct tape it so that it's not oh, as floppy. We're, we're getting there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, and so uh, now that we've got the straps all the way secured through the slots, I'm going to uh, make sure that these are even to the hole so that it fits straight and not all cattywampus. Two, three, four. Hmm. Put that up again. I don't know if you can. Okay, so you count that side, I'll count this side. Okay. Well, from here, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, so from from this from that one, one, two, three, four. Wait a minute. <laughs> did you count the hole it was in? No, no, I did not count the hole it was in. So I did one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> When two people are doing one thing, you may want to know if you're like paper, rock, scissors, or paper, <laughs> rock, scissors, shoot. <laughs> okay, so now we got the hole lined up in the front with the hole in the back. So there's uh, slits cut in front of the holes. So we can take our grommet or a fastener with the uh, Galco logo up like the direction of our back plate and you can insert the bottom through the slot and then you'll do the same thing underneath Now you got to do that on all four of the straps. Yep. And so you get it through the slot and through the slot and you'll notice since the slot's connected to a hole, uh, you'll go ahead and just pull it so that the bottom or the, the center portion of the fastener is through the circular hole side. So I'll do that on all four straps. So is there any situation where those wouldn't be equal? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, me and Lewis got to have stuff all, uh, all even, you know what I mean? I don't know, like if, uh, I don't the... know, if you had obtusely shaped limbs. Okay. And is this the final step of fitting? Yeah, after, after I get these grommets set, it'll be fitted. Okay. Then you get to put it on and model it. Well, I do moonlight as a model. Foot model. You can find them on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh no, 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 no. Not, not a foot model. I'm a, a calf, calf model. Calf model? Yeah. Okay. And I can't turn left. 
like physically incapable or mentally incapable? I, I think it's a bit of both. How do you drive places? Okay, it was a Zoolander joke. I was still making jokes. Oh, okay. Well, it was a. I didn't real I like catch the Zoolander reference. It's been a while since I watched that movie. Our audience loves Zoolander. Mm-hmm. I should rewatch it soon. But I'm busy reading. I just recently repurchased The Gift of Fear. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm going to read it again. I haven't read it in close to 10 years now. Whoa. I need so, to read that too. Haven't read it since becoming a mom, so it might open up some new perspectives. Okay. okay. Now, so you were asking about uh, duct tape and stuff like you do on a chest rig. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is not included in the instructions, totally optional, but um, I got some tail back here. So what I'm going to do is in this case, I got some Velcro like uh, cable straps and I'm just going to wrap that around there. Do the Velcro table cable straps come with the holster? Is that something that you would go oh, to no, at like this, a, this is, a computer parts store? Uh, yeah, like Amazon or whatever. Okay. And this is something I had laying around. Uh, I don't want to tape the leather because it might uh, mess it up or something. But uh, you could use a rubber band or, I mean, you could cut off the uh, slack like you were talking about mm -hmm. if you were for sure this was the size it was going to be forever. Um, or even just let the tail hang out there. The tail of the leather strap hang yeah, out. Yeah, the tail of the strap. I'm afraid if I let a, like let the leather strap hang down my back, I would always think that somebody was touching me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would be a little weird. Okay. Time to put it on, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Put it on. How do you how do you put on a shoulder holster? Like, is it like a flip over your head? Like, how how okay. does Brian Greenwell how put on a shoulder holster? Do I put holster? on a shoulder holster? Okay, so I'm gonna pick it up and put it over my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> and here we are. Alrighty. So, why don't? Uh, I'll go get my stuff and put it in the holster okay. so you can see what it looks like uh, ready to go. Yeah, I'll tell a joke while you're off screen. Okay. <laughs> what do you call a one-legged waitress? Eileen. Where do you think she works? Brian, you, you, got, you got a hint where a one-legged waitress might work? No. A hop. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, uh, trying to keep them kid friendly. I like it. I have three three kinds of humor. Dad, dark, and dirty. And dark and dirty are not, not usually family appropriate. <laughs> okay. okay, so. Got her set up here. I got my Glock 19. And my magazines. And I'm good to go. So that is how to put together and fit a shoulder holster. Great job, Brian. Close us up. All right, your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.